Hello, my name is Christine Rose Beers and I'm the Head of Conservation at the Chester Beattie. Today, I'm going to talk about the unusual treatment of a rare papyrus manuscript. Chester Beatty PMA5 is an extremely fragile, late antique Manichaean manuscript. It is one of seven books said to have been uncovered in a wooden chest in the ruins of an old house near Medinet Mahdi in Egypt in 1929. What remains of PMA5 today is in dreadful condition. The text block has clearly suffered severe water damage, suggestive of a resting place along the Nile floodplain. Now lovingly known as the sod of turf, PMA5 in fact rather resembles a small fibrous doormat. It is exceedingly friable, vulnerable to loss with even the slightest vibration, and its estimated 100 pages of text are utterly inaccessible to readers. In 2018, scholars from the Universities of Iowa and Kentucky suggested a non-invasive approach to revealing the text hidden in its pages. Very high resolution 3D imaging, known as X-ray tomography, at a synchrotron facility. In order to facilitate analysis, the manuscript would need to be safely transported from Dublin to the Diamond Light Source Synchrotron in the UK. Following considerable research and discussion with colleagues, it was decided to vacuum pack the manuscript, using materials and techniques thoroughly investigated by Dr John Gillis during his PhD research and conservation treatment of the Fadenmore Psalter at the National Museum of Ireland. Firstly, the manuscript was carefully removed from the glass it was resting on. I used clean, bare hands for this job to ensure maximum sensitivity to every nuance of the manuscript. I identified two areas of matted fibres on the right-hand edge of the manuscript and proceeded to push it from these points. In total, this process took just one minute, but I can assure you it felt like a lifetime. The bondina was gently folded over the manuscript to fully enclose the text block. And a sheet of plastazo was rested on top. Next, the ends of the bondina were folded over the plasters oak to close the package. Working with my colleague Julia Poirier, I then carefully slipped the wrapped manuscript into a pre-prepared film enclosure using a 100% cotton mount card support. This was, in fact, the slowest part of the process, taking around five minutes to get the manuscript and packaging safely into the envelope. It was painstaking. Finally, the wrapped manuscript was transferred to the vacuum packing machine to be sealed. The lid of the vacuum machine was closed and a soft vacuum was pulled for 10 seconds before the final open edge of the enclosure was sealed. At this point, the chamber popped open and all of us in the lab admired the completely underwhelming sight of a vacuum encapsulated late antique manuscript text block. The manuscript was scanned at the Diamond Light Source I-12 beam on September the 25th to 27th, 2019. The 20 plus terabytes of data obtained required several months of reconstruction, organisation and transfer time. The images produced are currently undergoing analysis, 
which it is hoped will be able to identify the text within the significantly deteriorated internal structure of the manuscript. From a conservator's point of view, everything went as well as it could, and the manuscript was safely returned to the Chester Beatty without incident. Thanks to the use of this unusual preservation technique, it was possible to safely transport and analyse this unique object. Although results have not yet been published, it's hoped that over time, as the data is processed, it may reveal secrets which remain physically hidden from view.